38 after Sunset Boulevard, it is acknowledged as one of Hollywood's great movies, and in London and Los Angeles, a hit musical play as well. Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical retelling of the Gloria Swanson classic now comes to life on Broadway with Glenn Close. And as Joel Siegel reports, a great deal of the credit goes to a man who has worked his magic for some of the grandest shows in the history of the musical theater. We know Andrew Lloyd Webber's music, but director Trevor Nunn is the cat's meow. Fifty million people have seen cats, and it still has at least three or four lives to go. Nunn is also the mister behind Les Mis. There have been productions in 22 countries in 14 languages, the most performed musical in the world. As artistic director of the Royal Shakespeare Company, he turned a thousand pages of Dickens' Nicholas Nickleby into breathtaking theater. Next stop, Sunset Boulevard. With stops in London and Los Angeles, Sunset Boulevard comes to Broadway with a $36 million advance sale based on Billy Wilder's classic 1950 film. Glenn Close plays the silent film legend who won't admit she's no longer a star. Aren't you Norma Desmond? You used to be in pictures. You used to be big. I am big. It's the pictures that got small. Why don't I show you my little apartment? <laughs> um, this is Max's doorway. This is spectacular. Yes, that's a little bit of Baroque and Fairyland <laughs> and barley sugar and, and so on. But uh, you see, there's a, there's a lot of trompe l'oeil in, in theater. Oh, it's so actually, beautiful. The, the spaces It looks like very, it goes back 40 feet and then it goes back. The spaces are yeah. very small and, uh, and similarly... It doesn't our, work. Our, our pipe organ, and it doesn't work. <laughs> and, and then this is kind of Norma's museum. These photographs are... There's a million there's photographs. There's Dietrich. Of, of not, no, they're, they're all that's, Glenn. That's, no, that's Dietrich. They're all Glenn. <laughs> they're really? all Glenn. Glenn could not conceivably step onto this stage and see that there was somebody else's face there. They're all Glenny. <laughs> And then we got this lavish staircase, and of course the reality is that it gets narrower and narrower and narrower. Because this is all for perspective. And uh, in the theatre, you, you are completely unaware of that narrowness. So there's her little Juliet balcony, and, um, and that leads off to her private quarters. This is an astonishing set. This is... <clears throat> I don't think I've seen a set like this on a Broadway stage. Well... Of course, the, the thing about this show is that this is only part of the set. I mean, <laughs> this is for certain scenes. Bring out the old, bring in the new. Is there anything harder than directing a musical? I often picture a, a musical as an organism that's actually trying to explode. It's, it's trying to hurl itself into oblivion in, in all kinds of different directions. And the, the task of the director and the team immediately around him is to, to make sure that it uh, that some sort of gravity makes it cohere and do the thing that it can do if only it won't self-destruct this is the third time you have done this with this show does it get easier yes and no <laughs> <coughs> um, are you running for office <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I have to say in in all of the things that i've done with uh, andrew lloyd webber uh, I have never yet had the experience of thinking, no, I'm bored with the score now. I've, I've heard the score too many times. So I never, never, never feel that. Tell me about Glenn. Well, she's the director's dream. It is as simple as that. Glenn has got absolutely limitless curiosity and, uh, and energy for delving into every possibility. She has a wonderful sense of give and take with her fellows. It's a joy to, to work. But what do you want audiences to feel when the curtain comes down? What do you want them to take away from this production? It doesn't aspire to an ordinary level of response. I mean, you know, what eventually happens is as ultimate as human beings can go. So there is a kind of shock to admiration that one has to have that people can destroy themselves so spectacularly. Finally opening on Broadway, 43 minutes after...